Welcome. In this video, we're going to show you how to create a change in the thickness, the line quality of our path. Basically, if we normally start off with a some type of a a path like so, right? That path, um, well, it's it's nice, but it's just thin. Now, you can um, use your selection tool to then click on that path and you can change the way it looks. You can make the stroke thicker, right? And some of you have already created uh, things like the width profile that makes it go like so. Now that's that's dead useful. But let's say you were just tracing an image, you know? You had been um, working on different things. Let's say um, you're tracing the outline the outline of an eye and you wanted to see if you could adjust some of those settings as you go. I'm going to make an outline of an eye here and see if I can make it work. And hold down Alt, make this side come up. So not super awesome for that eye, but it's a good start. Now, right now this is doing paths and it's getting thick and thin, but I don't like where it's getting thick and thin. And what if one of these profiles doesn't work for my particular situation? What do you do? Well, here comes the width tool. The width tool is down here in the second section down. Uh, I guess that's the third section. Anyway, and when you click on it, you get this ability to alter the paths that you have. All right, so right now it's thick here and then it gets thin on the other edge. I want it to be thin on this side, but I really don't want it to be so thick on this side. So I'll click it and you see what you can do? You can squish it, squish it together there, make it really thin. Then I can make it go thick here. And wherever you take these points, you see, make it a little thicker there for a second. Maybe make it, um, thinner here. I'm going to zoom in to make that part thinner. I'm going to click on that and let's take this one set here that's right now it's kind of thin. I'm going to make it thick, thin then and uh, make this part. I'll move it down a little bit so you can make it move along the length here. So I'm going to make it a little thicker right there. Maybe make, let's see if I can pull one side out versus the other. How do you do that? Well what you do is you hold down Alt and when you hold down Alt, it's going to allow you to um, make the line thickness change along. Now, right now, this is only one path, right? Um, if you uh, click on the layer one here, you're going to see that it's only one path that I've created here, but it's actually doing a lot of work for me. Okay, so let's see if we can add another um, point out here, and I'm going to pull that out, and I'm just going to try and make that part come out a little thicker there. And, um, you know, I was showing you this over here, but I don't know if I like it. I'm going to hold down Alt and pull that side back in. All right, so I have a lot more line quality now. <laughs> Let's see if we can, I don't know, maybe add some um, pen points to this. Let's uh, make some eyelashes. Now, if I tap and hold, I can bring a line up like that. And when you look at that line by itself, it's pretty boring. But when you change the um, way that it looks, you can go ahead and use the width tool and grab the bottom of it and make it wider. And when you look at that now, it's obviously working a lot better. So you could do something like that to create those. If you um, want to zoom in on it, right? You could always work that very last part. I'm going to go back to my width tool and work the very end. Make it much skinnier here. Let's see. Yeah, there you go. Ooh, yeah, nice. Oops, I got a little thing at the end there. I have to remove it. Um, so anyway, you end up with these nice little shapes you can create by drawing uh, a line and then go ahead and adjust the thickness. Uh, one thing I think about this line, I think I think it's got a fill. I'm going to turn that off. Probably should have done that at the beginning. Not a big deal. Turn that one off too. All right. So now it doesn't have fill. 
But anyway, it's a nice way to create uh, different line qualities in one of your drawings. So if you can imagine that if you sketch something out with kind of a boring pencil line, you can go back and make that boring pencil line that much more attractive by adjusting its weight individually. There we go. Anyway, have fun with this. I want you to see if you can draw an eyeball. Sounds great. Sounds like an easy task. Have fun with it.